System design of an image service for a hotel website like booking.com, Agoda. In all these websites, you would have seen that whenever you open, see images of the hotels. Whatever search results are there, you see the hotel images. When you click, see all the images of that hotel and also some related hotels and their images you see. So all of this is coming through some image service, which is loading these images in all these. So how do we design that? Service? First, talking about the function requirements. So a different page with different resolution ki images dikhti hai. for example on the search page you see small images when you open a hotel page you see big images but the related images are small so to me different resolution ki images chahiye. that's why we have to be first functional requirements is to serve images of different resolution then serving images of multiple hotels because you have to show one hotel images to hai. Saath mein uske related hotels which are related to the hotel images to the so serving hot images of multiple hotels or relevant images because tumhe ye bhi dekhna hoga ki kuch galat images galti se upload kar diye hai hotel ne ya fir jaan ke tumhe wo nahi dikhani you have to filter them out. image placeholder when the image cannot be loaded for example kisi ka internet connection slow hai us time pe images cannot be loaded so what to display reduce quality when the internet is low so basically jab image agar kisi ka internet slow hai to usse low quality images dikhengi but still images dikh not talking about the non functional requirements our service should be highly available, at least four nines of availability. It should have low latency, Matlab images fetch karne ki jo latency hai, that should be less than 100 millisecond. And disaster recovery, agar service down chali jati hai, we should be able to still bring it back up and recover the service. So ab thodi back of the envelope calculations kar lete hain. So let's say ek hotel website pe 100 million monthly active users hain. Aur Per banda jo aata hai, they see 50 images per view per user. Now five billion, this means five billion views per month, five billion images per month, which is equal to 167 million images per day, which are being served from this service. A peak traffic is katum man lo to 167 into 3, matlab, suppose during Christmas, New Year, is time log zada ghumna jate hai. So 5800 requests per second. Now storage that should be able to store multiple size of images, low resolution, high resolution. So average we that the size of the image is 1 MB per image. So this is about 5 TB or 30 TB of storage which you need. Let's, now let's talk about the APIs. So first API is simple which is get hotel images. You give the hotel ID and you get the images for that. Now in this response we will return the image. URL is this will be the URL of the image which is being served. Type of image, type ki image, hai. size of the image, placeholder. Placeholder is what to be displayed when the image cannot be loaded. Size of the image is the size of the image. Description, any description you have for the image. This is your response for the API. Second API is get multiple hotel images. Ye use hoga on the search page. So the first API will be used on the main hotel. The second API which is get multiple hotel images. This will be used on the search page. Ya fir the below part of the get related images for the hotels fall apart. So again API hotels IDs and the IDs you can give them comma separated IDs. The response will look something like this in which you will have a hotel ID and corresponding images for that hotel in a form of a list. Now you can potentially use the same API first API which you build and second API you can use the same and in the ID you can just give a comma separated IDs as your parameter. Now the third API is maintain images. Maintain as in suppose someone has to update them, someone has to delete them. You have to basically manage those. So in this the API will be hotels, its images and in this your request will have the ID of the hotel, the ID of the image, the hotel ID and the file if you want to update the image file and the metadata if you want to update the image metadata. Now let's talk about the design of how the design of this will look like. So let's say these are the client's devices. They will make a call to the API frontend. This frontend will then finally make a call to the server. And this will finally serve your images. Now where are these images stored? These images are generally stored in object storage or blob storage. For example, AWS S3, Google's GCS. Metadata for these images will be stored in some metadata data. How will the client see this image? So if you remember, we API in the API, there will be a URL in this response. This URL will be the URL of the direct image which is stored in S3 or something else. So generally for serving the content, we use a CDN which is called a content delivery network. Now what is a content delivery network? Matlab tum ye samjho ki ye jitne bhi images hai, instead of serving it from S3 directly, inko hum cache karte hai on some servers. 
Now these servers are located across the world. Some servers are located for example let's say India, some are located in US. Any person looking in India will get the images from the cached in the server in India and the US person will get from US. Ye kis liye kiya jata hai because that the access is fast and you don't have to make the call to the main storage which we have. Ab the question is how does the client connect with the CDN? Matlab let's say someone uploaded an image. It is stored now in the S3. How will the client know that it has to connect with the CDN? Because it is making normal API call to our... So first it will make the call to the API. It will return the link of the image. Ab wo link jo hoga, that link will not be the actual S3 link. It will have the link through a CDN. Ab let's say CDN pe wo image cached nahi thi. But still image ka jo format hota hai, the way the images ka links jo create hota hai on CDN, that is fixed. Matlab image... For example, CDN ka URL and let's say image ki ID. CDN kaise kaam karte ki image does not exist. Then it will make a call to your actual S3 and bring that image. How will it bring? Because it will have the ID of the image which it has to bring. So generally in the metadata also we just stored the link of the CDN. Jo ki shayad abhi exist bhi nahi karta. But we still store it so that whenever the client makes a call, it will cache ho jayega, us jaga. Now let's talk metadata store ki design. This metadata store, what should it be like? Should it be a SQL database or should it be a NoSQL database? Now, our use case involves linkage between hotels. For example, when we, sh when we show an, a hotel page, we want to show the related hotels images also. So there is some linkage between the hotel. And the second use case is images for a particular hotel. Now we consider both consider karte hain, both SQL and NoSQL database and see what kind of database is useful for this use. First, let's talk about NoSQL database. Ki. NoSQL database ka format is It is a basically a JSON. What will happen in that JSON? It will be ID and there related hotels ki IDs. Hongi. Joins are not possible in NoSQL database. That's why we have to store it like this. Now images will be उस होटल की वो भी स्टोर होंगी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लिस्ट अब सपोज जब हमको जो मेन होटल पेज है वहां की एपीएस कॉल करनी है पहली आईडी की इमेजेस लानी है वो तो चलो इससे हो जाएगा बट लेट्स से जो रिलेटेड होटल्स है उनकी इमेजेस लानी है तो वो कैसे होगा सो इट विल फर्स्ट गेट द करंट होटल देन इट विल गेट ऑल द लिंक्ड होटल्स इमेजेस मतलब इट विल एक-एक करके इट विल टेक दिस आईडी होटल पैरेलल भी कॉल लगाई जा सकती है टेक दिस आईडी ऑफ दिस होटल make a call and fetch the images similarly id2 and fetch the images this is too many calls too too much round trip delay matlab bar bar isko api call karni padegi tumhare client ko to the server multiple times to fetch the images of different uh, hotel ids which we do not want isse kya hota hai ki why this pattern is discouraged because we want to reduce the round trip delay time to jab bhi tum koi api call karte ho to ek tcp handshake hota hai अब इस TCP हैंडशेक में क्या होता है एक क्लाइंट बोलता है कि मेरे को कनेक्ट करना है सर्वर बोलता है कि ठीक है सर्वर एक बोलता है कि ठीक है एक्नॉलेज करो मैं कनेक्ट करना है फिर क्लाइंट फिर से एक एक्नॉलेजमेंट के भेजता है कि हां भाई वी आर कनेक्टेड नाउ सो दिस फुल हैंडशेक हैपेंस तो ये जो राउंड ट्रिप टाइम है ये बहुत ज्यादा होता है फॉर ए एपीआई सो वी वांट टू रिड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ कॉल्स नंबर ऑफ नेटवर्क डिले जो ये इंट्रोड्यूस हो रहा है दैट्स व्हाई दिस पैटर्न इज डिस्करेज सो व्हाट इज द पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशन पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशन इज टू स्टोर डीनॉर्मलाइज मतलब क्या होगा कि तुम नो सिक्योर डेटाबेस में ऑल रिलेटेड होटल्स की जो इमेजेस है वो भी स्टोर करवा के रखोगे इन योर डॉक्यूमेंट बट इसके अंदर क्या इशू है इसके अंदर इशू ये है कि होटल का जो एक जो जेसोन डॉक्यूमेंट जो तुम बना के रख रहे हो दैट कैन बिकम एक्सट्रीमली बिग व्हिच आल्सो कैन बी अ ह्यूज प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज़ द नंबर ऑफ होटल्स आर वेरी लार्ज इस केस में तुम्हें पता चल रहा है कि देयर आर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एंटिटीज सो व्हेनेवर देयर आर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एंटिटीज यू शुड ऑलवेज प्रेफर अ सिक्वल डेटाबेस so the only reason to choose a sql or no sql database should be this kind of scenarios when there are relationships or there are no relationships when when there are no relationships with the data you can still choose sql database but in that case you have to then think that either your write load is more or your read load is more on the basis of that you make the decisions if your write load is more then generally no sql database is preferred if read load is more then generally sql database is preferred so you will have hotels relation in which you will have the id of the hotel related ids and the images now you can simply do a join in one single api call you do a join and get all the related hotels and their images and this can be done in just one api call so you reduce all the round trip delay so it will finally return all the images links and your client can then finally make the calls parallelly through all the cdn links of the images which it has got
नाउ और चीजें वट वी कैन टॉक अबाउट फॉर स्केलेबिलिटी इन दिस सिस्टम सो वी नीड टू मेक दिस सिस्टम हॉरिजोंटली स्केलेबल सो वो वी नीड टू इंट्रोड्यूस शार्डिंग फॉर आर मेटाडेटा डेटा बेस सो वन सिंपल वे कैन बी टू शार्ड इट ऑन द बेस ऑफ लोकेशन विच इज जियो शार्डिंग सो वी विल शार्ड आर मेटाडेटा डेटा बेस ऑन द बेस ऑफ लोकेशन आई डी वन लोक बट इन दिस केस वट कैन बी द इश्यू दैट वन लोकेशन कैन बिकम अ हॉट स्पॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स सबको शिमला जाना है सबको मसूरी जाना है तो एक लोकेशन बिकम्स अ हॉट स्पॉट बट देन वट यू कैन डू यू कैन फर्दर शार्ट इट मतलब यू कैन डिवाइड शिमला के अंदर भी यू कैन डिवाइड सम एरियाज एंड पुट दो इन अ डिफरेंट शार्ट बट लेट से वट इफ वन होटल बिकम्स अ हॉट स्पॉट सबको एक रिजॉर्ट वायरल हो गया ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एंड एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू गो टू दैट सिंगल रिजॉर्ट एवरी वन इज मेकिंग कॉल फॉर दैट रिजॉर्ट ना हाउ विल यू हैंडल दिस काइंड ऑफ हॉट स्पॉट so in this case hamara read traffic is more write traffic is very less read traffic for those images is more so in this case what is the solution is to introduce multi level caching so your l1 cache will be in memory which will be stored in the servers your l2 cache will be can be redis or can be mem cached which is another layer of your in memory cache and then finally l3 is your db so generally all the requests will be served by l1 or l2 and l3 pe rarely koi request jayegi and your system will still work fine and that's how you will make your metadata db horizontally scalable so now you have a fully created system in which iske andar tum images serve kar rahe ho we can talk more about how this api front end should be jiske andar load balancer hoga jo ki will balance kar raha hoga load to making these calls to this server but i will discuss that in some other way let me know your suggestions anything which i 